So in previous sections, we showed how the major head loss occurs along the straight length of pipe due to frictional effects of viscosity and pipe roughness. In addition to this, the effects of turbulence can also produce head losses at pipe connections, such as bends, valves, fittings, entrances, and transitions. These are called minor losses. So in a similar manner, we can define an equation that looks a lot like the major losses. So the head loss is given by this factor k sub l times v squared over 2g, where v is the velocity. So k sub l is referred to as the resistance or loss coefficient, which is basically determined from experiment. So for inlet and outlet transitions, you sort of have to know what the transition looks like. Then you can determine the k sub l value for each of the kind of situations you have. So here you really, you know, in the... Uh, you either have to be given a diagram or you have to be actually given the case of L value to be able to calculate it. The same is true for expansions and contractions. So if you go from a smaller to a bigger pipe, you have a, uh, a value for case of L. If you go from a bigger pipe to a smaller pipe, you have a, maybe you have a graph or a chart you can look at. So given the ratios D1 to D2, you can sort of look up and come over and find out what the case of L value is. And for certain situations where it's not sudden, it's a kind of an angle kind of kind of uh, transition. Uh, there's tables for those case of L values as well. And certainly for and, and uh, also for pipe connections like uh, gate valves, glove valves, angle valves, ball valves, swing check valves. There's different values of case of L for each of those kind of kind of situations. So based on the valves, you sort of have to know what they they are to find the case of L value. So you have, uh, you know, if the gate valve is partially opened, if it's it's fully opened, if it's an angle valve, partially opened, if it's a swing check valve, or if it's a butterfly valve. Each of those each of these kinds of situations are going to have different case of L values. So to pull this all together. Here's the procedure for analysis. Basically, what we want to do is we want to calculate Q. Uh, so we know we have Vn times the area in equals V out times the area out. And then basically, we use the generalized energy equation where we add uh, two terms. We have the major friction losses, and then we have the minor friction losses. So basically, we have to go through the section of pipe and add up. Uh, the, you know, this is the sum of case of L. So we'll have one of these terms for the T, we'll have one of these terms for the gate valve, we'll have one of these terms for the filter, and we'll have one of these terms for the elbow. So you'll have numerous of these minor losses to, to contend with. So let's take a look at example 10.6 and, and apply this. So here we have a situation when the, we have a globe valve at B uh, is fully open. Uh, water, when it's fully open, water flows out through the 65 millimeter diameter cast pipe with a velocity of 2 meters per second. Determine the pressure in the pipe at A. Take the density of the water to be 996 kilograms per cubic meter. The kinematic viscosity to be 0.8 times 10 to the minus 6 square meters per second. So based on those values, we can calculate the, rental, the Reynolds number. Uh, we know what the... Uh, V is the velocity. We know what the diameter of the pipe is. It's uh, 65 millimeters, so we convert that to meters. And we know the kinematic viscosity. So we calculate the Reynolds number 1.625. So for this case, uh, you know, we can use the, the Moody diagram. Uh, for cast iron pipe, uh, the relative roughness is 0.26 millimeters. Uh, so we divide that by 65 millimeters, we get 0 0.004. So now we need to calculate the minor minor head losses. So for a uh, loss for an elbow, it's uh, 0 0.9 times v squared over 2g. Uh, so it's a, this is a 90 degree elbow. So we come over to our chart, uh, 0 0.9. For fully open globe valve, so we here we look at fully open globe valve. It's 10, so we got two terms there. Uh, so therefore, that total head loss 
is going to be the major head loss plus the head loss due to the uh, uh, the uh, angle angle uh, connection here, and plus the the one due to the globe valve. Uh, so we got our fr friction factor. We calculate L divided by D, B squared over 2G. Here's our values for uh, these two terms. The V is the same and the 2G is the same, so we can sort of factor those out. Uh, so the total head loss is 3.132 meters. So here, since the pipe has the same diameter throughout, uh, the continuity of equa equation requires that the velocity be the same throughout the pipe. So we can apply Bernoulli's equation. Um, the pressure at A we're, uh, is what we're trying to find. Uh, we know what the velocity of A is. Uh, Z of A, let's make the, the our reference level here at C, so it's up here at A is 6 meters. Uh, there's no pump, so that's zero. The pressure at C, it dumps out the atmosphere, so that's zero. Uh, here plus VC over 2G again uh, this is the same we could just cancel this term and that term to be honest whether you're on both sides of the the equation they don't really really matter here um, Z of C is zero since we're at the reference level there's no turbine so that's zero and the uh, head loss is 3.132 meters which we calculated so P of A we can calculate it's minus 28 kilopascals. Uh, so what does this mean? That means that at pap is a suction since it's less than zero.